How's it going, everyone? Today, I wanted to talk to you about a universal topic, and that is burnout. Yep, universal and not going away anytime soon. Even top players experience it from time to time. And if you've been around long enough, you may also know the typical remedies, such as rest, be it physical or mental, reevaluating your goals, or really, just slowing down. Easy as one, two, three, and you're done, right? Okay, obviously I have something to add, but first a question. Why do we burn out more than once? So, let's say you take some rest, maybe one to two weeks. And while you're kicking back, you decide your goals are actually pretty good. Maybe your pace could use a little work, so you slow down a bit. And then you get back in the saddle and try again. But then frustration hits, fatigue sets in, and soon enough, burn out again. Why? And more importantly, what can you do? Well, a person smarter than me once said that you do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. Or otherwise put, you don't just need good goals or good pacing. You need a plan. It's not just about goals and pacing, it's about process. And rather than repeating yourself multiple times and expecting a different result, you may instead need to fundamentally shift your approach to your goals. How do you do that? Well, I got you fam. We will begin to realign your approach in this video and continue into future ones, starting with the one thing. So right now, just take a minute and just think of all the things you've accomplished and smashed so far. And of course, the things you need to work on. And now ask yourself, what's the one thing you can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier or unnecessary? Now, you probably came up with a list of a dozen things to work on, or maybe just five. Regardless, take that list and pick one thing. Not five things, not three, just one. Write those other things down somewhere, they're still important, but this one thing will be your goal and your sole focus until you complete it to satisfaction. I picked ledge trapping here because I play characters with a fundamentally based ledge trapping game. And it turns out I could still learn a thing or two. But that said, what's your one thing? Is it ledge trapping or maybe something else you'd like me to cover in a future video? And that brings us to, well, our homework. First, I want you to identify that one thing. And after you've done that, start brainstorming steps you'll take to achieve that goal, that one thing. Because, well, spoiler, these may be wrong on your first try. And that'll be the subject of the next video, specifically pain points. As you begin to structure your plan, how can you anticipate and accommodate for the things that might go wrong? And with that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.